I gave my life for Thee, my precious blood I shed, that Thou might ransom be and quicken from the dead. I gave, I gave my life for Thee, what hast Thou given for me? I gave, I gave my life for thee, what hast thou given for me? My Father's house of light, my glory circle throng, I left for earthly night for wandering sand. I suffered much for thee, more than thy tongue can tell, of bitterest agony to rescue thee from hell. I've borne, I've borne it all for thee, what hast thou borne? for me. I've borne, I've borne it all for thee. What hast thou borne for me? And I have brought to thee down from my home above salvation full and free. My What hast thou brought to me? Okay, we're looking at I gave my life for thee. On your hymn page, you'll see up in the left hand corner uh, the treble clef. Then we have the key signature, two flats this time. If you go to the right, you come back one, that will identify your key. That's a flat symbol. It's on the B line. Every good boy does fine. It's on the B. So that's B flat, the key of B flat. You want to use your capo on the third fret and use the G family. I'm using my capo on the second fret and using the G family. It's more comfortable to me. Uh, so that's, that's up to you and your voice. But that would put me in the key of A. If you're playing along with a piano player, put your capo on the third fret. And then you have the time signature up here, and that is 6-8. And there are six counts per measure, so that tells us what to do with our right hand. We want to either do a uh, kind of a waltz if we're strumming, or if, if we're doing uh, finger picking, we want to do this. That. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So whatever we do, we want to make room for those six counts per measure. Then I have written up here some tablature for you to explain some of the things that I've done there. Um, so in tab, you have the strings of the guitar. This is the lowest E string and the high E string, it's the guitar neck like this. And for a G chord, the pattern is this, three, zero, zero, three, zero, zero. So third fret on your sixth string, your lowest E string. And you use your P, that's the thumb, I, that's this one, M, and then A, then M, I. 
And then I did something there on that last uh, verse, and it was a bass run. And so I have it written here on in, in tab, and it sounds like this. For the G chord, that's one, two, three. One, two, three. And then you have three on the low E string. Open fifth string. Second fret on the fifth string. And then three on the fifth string, which begins your C chord. So this is one, two, three, one, two, three. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So that's a whole measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, I'll just demonstrate that and then we'll complete this video. I'm trying to make them faster than I normally do. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing that all with my thumb or else a pick if you're strumming. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I gave my life for thee, my precious blood I shed. And on uh, precious blood I shed, I'm, do I'm doing a uh, G over D, which is right here. That's a G chord with a D in the bass, G slash D, G over D. So you're not using these strings, and that I'm, I'm using precious love. So I'm going from a G over D to a D7. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can just use a regular G chord. Precious blood, D7, I shed. So my G chord, precious D7 blood, I shed G chord. If you do do, uh, if you use G over D, you'll go bass, I, M, and then go to the D7 chord and go bass, I, M, and then go back to shed G chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Hope that's a blessing and a help to y'all. I uh, want to thank you. We made it to 200 subscribers.